In this video, we're gonna go shopping and we're gonna pick out a good low priced video card that we can add to our desktop computer so that we can handle multiple displays for our presentation software. So let's get to it. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO, and if this is the first time you stop by my channel, thanks for visiting. And what I focus on on this channel is tips, training, strategies, tricks, reviews, and bills on how to improve and modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I've been doing a bunch of videos on um, DIY computer bills and how to build a computer to handle the different aspects in media ministry, which is what I like to do because it saves a lot of money in comparison to um, buying a computer. Now, but again, if you have a computer already, but you want it to double for its purpose, which is what most computers are, um, most of the time they're donated to the church or something like that, and we want to give it some more life, you can add different components. That's what this is going to be. We're going to add a more powerful graphics card so that it will handle outputting multiple displays. So if you look at any of my other videos when we talk about Worship Extreme um, with the stage display, you need to be able to have one output, which is for the screen that you actually look at when you're operating a computer. But then also you have a screen for hooking up to your projector or your TV so that people can actually see like scripture or lyrics or presentations that you're presenting. But then all these other applications also allow you to have a stage display. This is kind of like a confidence monitor or a, a tertiary display to display different information than everything else. So like for example, at the Good Shepherd project that I've been working on, they have their system set up to where they can have a third screen that outputs the lyrics just for the choir so that they're the only ones that can see it or a display for whoever's preaching so it has their notes there. So you need a graphics card that can actually handle that. Now there are most people who don't buy graphics cards, most of the time people are getting them for playing video games or content creation like making videos like I do here on YouTube or video editing and stuff like that. So we don't need to go to the super top of the line um, being able to play Resident Evil 2 or any of the modern games that are out right now. Um, what we're going to do is kind of get a low budget one, but at the same time it's going to give us a lot more performance compared to the graphics card you probably have in your computer that you're considering upgrade. So I'm heading to the store now after I get some gas and we're going to go walk through and pick out some video cards for that same purpose, all right? Now, I'm close to the store, but there was something I forgot to do. So let me go back in time and let's set up some stuff before I head to the store. All right, now when it comes to trying to figure out if your computer can actually handle a graphics card or anything like that, if you feel comfortable, you could always take the side of the case off and then just look for this type of information. Or if you don't, there's a program that you can actually use, which is CPU ID. All right, as you can see in this program, it will actually do an analysis of your system. So you might have to do a little research to get this done. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look over here on our main board. It's actually gonna give us our model number and we wanna look that up. So let's go ahead and bring up a browser over here and we're gonna look up the Biostar X370 GTN. So let's pick this one here. Either one of those will work. This is just a US website. And what we wanna do is get a picture 
of the motherboard. Let's click here and let's zoom it in. So what we're looking for is a PCIe 16 slot, which is right here. Now that's just from a picture standpoint. If you have a different type of motherboard that is showing up, you can always go to specifications. And then we want to look at expansion slots. So this is what we're looking for, PCIe 3.0 16. That's what we want to make sure um, that our motherboard has. If your motherboard does not have that, then this will not work. Um, so this is what we actually are testing and this is how we can find this out. You can look at the picture or better than that, if you're not familiar with that, look up your motherboard using that CPU ID um, application, which I'll link in the description. Let it find what your motherboard is, then look it up and then look at the specs to make sure you have that. And then that's how we can use one of these, all right? All right, so hopefully we got that. We went back in time, we got the information that we needed, and now we're gonna head to the store. Now, when you go to pick out your graphics cards, you pretty much only have two companies to really pick from. You have AMD and you have Nvidia. Now, it all depends on your budget, but like I said, I'm looking for the, um, the budget way to get into this, because I'm really not looking for gaming performance, I'm looking for multiple monitor performance and that it can output to multiple monitors, three at minimum, and that it's within my budget. So my budget, I'm trying to stay um, within $130, if not less. But I do know there are graphics cards that cost less than that, but they can't meet the requirements of what I was talking about. So like the current graphics card that's in there right now was my old graphics card that I donated to the church, which was a gaming um, video card that I had a while ago. And it is about one, two, three, four, about four generations too old. So for the purpose of church stuff, it was perfectly fine. So what I'm gonna do is actually move that card, which still works fine, but I'm gonna move it over to our live streaming computer to give it some more performance for live streaming, but then I'm getting a new one to handle our presentation software. So I'm here at Best Buy, so let's go in here and look for what we need. So I have to be careful every time when I come in here, I always end up buying something extra that I really don't need, whether it be games or something like that, but we're, we're on a mission today. All right, so this is normally the section where you would get your graphics card. So you could always get one of these top of the line RTX 1080s, but no, 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 no. You can buy like two PlayStation 4s for that price. So these are the top of the line. We don't need anything like that. And even some of these are a little bit too pricey for what we are looking for. So what we're looking at is maybe, actually this is the one I'm actually looking at getting. This is a RX 550. It's by AMD and it should meet all the requirements that what we have. So let me go ahead and try and see if I can get one of the guys to take this down off of the shelf for me. And like I said, as usual, I end up buying something that I didn't mean to come get, but I needed an extra mouse. Um, so let me find that while they're trying to pull up what I need. All right, so we got our card here, and like we said, we're looking for three outputs. So we have DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI. So we want to make sure that it can handle all three outputs for our graphics that we're using for our presentation computer. And I think that's pretty much it, because all the previous stuff we talked about, um, the PCI Express 3.0 support, and being able to handle all the displays, we are good. We don't need extra power or anything like that. So this is gonna be a good, clean install. All right, let's go ahead and buy it and we'll go ahead, get to the church and install it. All right, so I am gonna remove the old graphics card here now. Again, don't get confused. I am 
doing this two times. So this computer is going to get the new graphics card and the graphics card in here is going to replace this one. So we're double for our trouble. All right. So similarly, we did that same CPU ID test here. So we already know the type of slots that are available in here. And actually, as you can see, this system actually has two. So we have one right here and right here, but we're actually using this slot to give some space here. So we're gonna remove this graphics card and we're gonna put the new one, well, the old new one from here into here. So similarly, I removed all of the software with, this is actually AMD. So I'm taking AMD and putting in Nvidia. And in this one, I'm taking out Nvidia and putting in AMD. All right, so let's go ahead and get this unscrewed and we'll take this card right out. Now when taking this out, there's a little clip on this side that I have to push it up and then it just comes straight out after you do that. All right, and that's the little clip I was talking about. Just push that forward and then just lift it straight out. Now when it comes to this new graphics card, it's actually gonna take up, it's actually gonna take up two slots. So this one only took out one. The new one I'm putting in is going to take out two. So I'm just going to remove the shield here. All right. That's it. And we're getting ready to put the new one in. And this is our most recent system so this is running a Ryzen 3 for our stuff here so similar as before let me go ahead and slide this here so we have all of our three displays already so we already know we're gonna be good here so let's go ahead and unplug the power disconnect all our cables so one of this is for two of these are for our monitors right here because we're running duels here. And then the other one goes to our video switcher here in the sanctuary. All right, just like before, we're gonna uninstall, unscrew these. I get my screwdriver over here. My Phillips, excuse me. Now I did mention these are low um, budget friendly video cards that we're using. The higher end ones actually need additional power. So that's one step I did not include um, in doing this because we weren't going for that type of card. Right? So this is gonna be a little difficult to do with one hand. So let me set this down for a second. All right, there's the card out. Now just like the other one, it didn't have a a switch it was more like a button right here that I had to push up and this cable get out the way right here that was clipping the back of the graphics card so I had to push that down in place then lift the card out and here is the old one this is a 750 Ti low level card um, but again like I said it's kind of old but for rendering and helping encoding the um, live stream I believe this will help so we're gonna switch this over here and put it in here and like I said this is where we had two slots so gonna locate the slot right there line everything up because it can only go one way just push that tab up and then just let it push in And we're good, that's it. So we're just gonna put the screws in here and then we're gonna do the same thing with the new card over there. And get this installed. All right, now we just gotta secure it with the screws and install the drivers. 
All right, everything is in place. Now the one thing I noticed with this is to make sure this was actually using a VGA cable to connect, which is not compatible with our current one. So I need to make sure this monitor can actually switch out to one of these connections. If not, I'm gonna have to switch out with a different monitor. All right, I just left the side of this off. Just so you can see, everything is up. We got all three cables connected. And we're just waiting for screen to show up over here. Now, if you looked at my previous video when I did an upgrade for my mom's computer, this should not cause Windows to act crazy like it did on my mom's computer because we're only changing the video card. All right, so we got two images there. And this would have been our third, but we have to get that configured to make sure that's working. All right, everything is installed and we're seeing our display show up. So let's do how fast I can do this. We got to identify, whoop, identify here. So that's one, three and one, three right there. So we're getting number one. Well, actually number one, three is our video mixer and then number two. So that's how we have everything set up. So everything is working so I'm gonna restart this because I'm in the admin account go back into Pro Presenter and make sure everything shows up all right as you can see the other video card which used to be in this computer is now over here and now I just gotta do the same thing put the drivers on here and we should be good now one thing I mentioned with this is we don't actually this video card is newer and we don't have a monitor to support this um, the old type of connection so either I'm gonna have to get an adapter um to switch it over to VGA which is kind of what I have plugged in right now I have a HDMI to VGA adapter so I might just get another one of these um, which will make this easier because I actually took it from our camera over there on my previous video where we talked about the SDI to HDMI adapter so I borrowed that one to get this to work it's actually the next day and I've ran into an issue with ProPresenter so it took a little bit longer to get everything squared away but that's pretty much all you really have to do to do add a graphics card is you mainly want to look for a PCIe 16x port and you should if you look up your computer by running that program CPU ID uh, you'll at least be able to look up the manufacturer of your motherboard and then you can look up the specs to see or you could just open it up and just look for it to see like I have plenty of shots here in the video that you can always run and I'll put a timestamp so you can actually jump to one so you can see exactly what you're looking for um, and those are kind of the cards that I picked I'm not looking for anything with extra power, which I mentioned, but that was pretty much it. So what type of graphics card do you actually run in your computer right now at church for your presentation computer? Is it NVIDIA? Is it AMD? Do you not even know? I, I love to see what everybody else is running. Um, just see what type of system that they're using anyway for your pro, um, presentation computer. So I hope you like this content. If so, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos. So this is AJ and we will catch you on the next video later.